screen here. It's about a solid 150 meters from the start there to the first turn. chips. I think it's hand scored. This first turn here will be really fast, almost flat out. And I'm sure there'll be crashes here. Guys trying to stuff it in here. This one you don't want to kind of not let track out, but stay tight. Because if you track out, guys will cut in front of you. First lap anyway. Most of these woods bits are pretty easy. It's the first little dismount up here. So you could almost ride this on a mountain bike. I'm gonna run wide and then come back to the inside so you can ream out before the hill. And then you wanna stay tight on these turns. You don't run wide in the loose stuff. Still really a power course, these long flat sections. This one's got a little root on the exit to get a watch. And this turn too, coming up here, crossing these little handball courts, has some roots. I think the fast line just go to outside of the roots, up top here like that. It's gonna be careful not to catch your foot in the fabric barrier. And a fast little paved section. This first turn, it's no brakes. Second turn, no brakes. And then there's a little decreasing radius here. We'll have to just touch the brakes. And then no brakes for the last few turns here. And the first sand section. And I've been running the second part of this. It's rideable, but it's faster if you run it. From here you run much faster to run. different lines. It's hard to remount on the sand. So when you jump on the bike, that little spike digs it in, the bike stops. Oh it's, just, oh, it's better down here. Okay, so yesterday, that line on the right was better, but it's all soft. Actually better down here. And it's a bit of a shortcut. The hard line is up around that pole there with a shorter distance here. And this part here too, it's rideable, but it's really slow to ride it. Watch, I'll catch this guy. Okay, I'll Walk, pedal through this first bit. Very short course, barely six minutes. And if you catch your breath here, this little place you got power through the sand. And it's important to ride this bit because you've got a little hill afterwards that you can ride. So, catch your breath again, and then a little burst, and 
best line is on the right. And you want to ride this and run the hills. They're rideable, but it just takes up too much energy. So I was running it. Lower heart rate. Go wide. Remount. Take the inside short line here. <coughs> and ride the next one. I run this one. Again, rideable, but this takes up too much energy. Run wide. Remount. Important to click in. So you get a couple of pedal strokes here. Dismount early. I ran this whole section yesterday. Rideable, but once you get around this hill, it's really slow. Oh, it's better today. I'm not able to ride it here. Yeah, maybe ride it. It just takes so much energy to ride the sand. Yeah, the problem with riding the sand is that you're just matching the pace of the guys running and using way more energy. You know, it's six, seven hundred watts to keep moving in the sand, or the equivalent of about 400 watts if you run. When I run, my legs aren't burning. Uh, heart rate goes up, but my legs aren't burning. So I can, as soon as I get through the sand, I can start pedaling again with some, some force. There's a little step here. You know, watch you up pinch flats. And here I ran too. I didn't bother riding this. It's a waste of time. And basically, except for the leads, nobody can ride this as fast as I'm running it. <clears throat> the old place where you can remount, get about seven or eight pedal strokes, and then run again. Oh, oh. I'm just dismount going straight. Actually, a spot where you can ride here. There's no way to get back on. The elites will ride this. They race uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. I just take it easy through here. Keeping the heart rate down. So my long legs are an advantage.
through here. It's basically flat, maybe 1% down. So you build some speed here. I'm basically coasting here, picking up speed. So, it's a sprint. It'll be hard to get around somebody here because it's fast. The more likely you would just sit on and right here try to swing inside or outside and sprint sprint to the finish. Okay. Got a little heart rate in the sand there. I'm gonna do another lap a little bit slower. Save the matches. So that is a lap of the 2018 UCI Masters World Cyclocross Championship course. Short. I don't know what that was. That was probably seven minutes or so. Um, obviously, I'm just soft pedaling. Uh, I did a lap yesterday. Kind of road tempo. I rode kind of hard in the sand, but was riding easy on all the pedaling sections. And it was 6:30, and uh, it was actually the third fastest time yesterday. Of all the guys practicing. So I get the impression that the sand is really basically every turn to ride it. And the thing is, there's a lot of strong guys here who can, who can make it through. It's just not efficient. Yeah, this stuff here, it looks brown and soft, but it's very sandy. You feel it's kind of gritty dirt. There's sand everywhere here. It's actually fairly grippy. Oddly enough, normally the pavement is where you find the grit, but here, the pavement's actually less grip because it's damp. This time of year, it's drizzly. You know, kind of overcast and drizzly all the time, so the pavement doesn't ever really dry out. So, those first few turns off the start will be tricky in the wet. Yeah, I tried this on the inside of those roots yesterday. My front wheel actually hit a little rut, you can't see. It's faster just to go wide there, carry more speed. I noticed the elites, they'll uh, exit and have the, their handlebars and the barriers. Um, they use every inch of the course like a sports car racer will on a road course. Trying to carry their speed to the turns. So this bit here, actually all of this flat stuff before the first sand section will be an opportunity for me to move up. It's going to be tough. I start uh, 50th out of 62 riders. It's a lottery for the start. And uh, I'm just going to run this. I'm use the energy. So this part can be ridden pretty quickly. Right through here is about a wash. But then you can dismount right here and run. I could I rode this yesterday, but it just by the time I got to the bottom, I was barely moving. And data showed 600 watts to go like four miles an hour. It's a total waste. And I'm going about the same speed right now, I'm using about 250 watts running. So bike wash. I'll have to come by there a little later. I think I want to run and remount right here. That first little bit there is too soft. And so when you jump on the bike, you're pounding the tire into the sand and it basically makes the bike dig in. So, down here next to the water is harder. Oh yeah. Yeah, see yesterday, that line up by the fence was faster. But it's not next time today. This is where you pre-ride. This looks soft. It's actually pretty firm. One little soft spot right there. Yeah, this will be the line. See, the, 
line that's more worn is up there by the fence and that's where the bulk of the riders will be all drafting off each other bunched clogged and there'll be other riders cutting down low here now here's the bit the elites will ride this they'll gain enough speed they'll fly into this at least probably ride this section. Little gap. Thanks. Now I'll remount back there. I lost my momentum with those guys walking. So here's a bit where. You can do a little burst of acceleration to catch your breath for a couple of pedal strokes because you've got a little high power section here, which I'll ride in the race. I'm actually going to walk it today here. Save some energy. This is rideable. It's really just a few pedal strokes. You get to this little crosswalk, this pot right here, and it gets a lot easier. And then you can ride this bit up here pretty easily. Go ahead. It's getting really chewed up. This was kind of a hard pack line yesterday. There's a few guys that rode this, but they're going one mile an hour at the top. And it's kind of off camber. And this bit here, if you go on the outside, you might be able to ride it today. I'll give it a shot here and see what happens. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't think it's rideable. I mean, it's just too, too much power. We'll see here. It's so soft. Yeah, it's just full power to get up that. Can you see, can you see those riders there? A couple of women riding it. Okay, I'll have to try it, I guess. Yesterday it was too hard. So it may have gotten better today. That sound, the grit, that's the sand. <laughs> Everybody's bike's gritty. There's nothing you can do about it. You just tune it out and ride. Yeah, see that different line than it was yesterday. Oh yeah, this is way rideable today. Much faster. Okay, we'll do that. That's easily rideable. This. I get out of the way here. I rode this all yesterday, but it didn't rain. The drier it gets, the slower it gets, the more you sink in. When it rains, it's actually pretty fast because it kind of packs down, kind of cementy. You can ride on top of it. There is, however, a line on the far left. I should try to ride this. I see, I'm going to be in lower gear for that. The tricky part is remounting again in the sand. That's really your only opportunity. You got to remount right here. Pedals are all full of shit. It wasn't possible to get going. I think that's it. Oh yeah. So getting down the hill is easy because yesterday this bit down here was really hard. Oh yeah, that's good today. Okay, this is fast. Yeah, this is better than running. Okay, that's what we're gonna do in the race. Yeah, that's easily rideable now. And yesterday that was too soft. Yeah, that was fine. 
and that was lower. That's 145 beats. And that first lap, I was over 150 beats running, and I and it was slower. So that section I want to ride. to get on that descent back there you actually have to run with the bike for a few steps down the descent and kind of jump on while you're already in the sand going down the hill it's really hard to get going that's the only way to do it any place you ride if you you aren't in a groove you uh so i'm following the groove the guy who just went he created a new groove but it's not wet so none of the grooves stick the next guy through will make a new groove but you go in six eight inches no matter where you yeah this bit here i'm gonna try this i'm gonna actually work this Nope. So there's a bit of a hard line. I'm just making it to there. The problem with those efforts, it's a short lap. So we'll do like seven laps, six. And uh, those little bursts of power just burn in too many matches. So it's just not worth it. Try remounting on the second sidewalk up here. Let's see, I think this best spot is going to be right here. It's a little bit harder here. How do you get going though? Well, you got to be in low gear first off. Let's try it. Give it a shot. losing time here. The guys who are riding it, if they hit that pavement, they're gone. Let's see if I can remount here. Oh yeah, I'm not clicking in, but that's still faster. Okay, so that's what we'll do in the race. It's such a sloppy remount there because the sand, you just get on and have to start as soon as your butt hits the seat, your foot has to hit the pedal and right away start putting in 400 watts, whether you're clicked in or not. So you can't wait to click in. If you take a half a pedal stroke to click in, the bike comes to a stop. So you just land with the middle of your foot on the pedal down and use that little downgrade to keep your momentum. Those big steps there, I can double or triple step those. I got a big signboard there. There's a chance we'll actually see, um, we'll actually see results up there. I know uh, the guy who's running support for me, uh, it's a local guy. He's about my age, I guess. His name's uh, Frankie Hazebrook. Uh, referred to me by a friend, uh, who also uh, an old American guy who races cross, Jay Thornton, uh, I've known for about 25 years. Um, Jay was uh, third in I think the 60 plus last year. Anyway, he, uh, he hooked me up with Frankie. Frankie actually won Het Bulk back in like 90 or something, so he's a genuine badass. Anyway, he and his wife race now, and he's running support. Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah, you're filming. You right. have a question? Yeah, yeah, I've got a question. I'm uh, the speaker of the race, Yes. but I wanted to know what you think of the track. How is it? Because I don't, uh, 
lot of sand on your bike, but is it a lot of dirt? Uh, mud? No, no mud. No mud. The dirt here has sand in it. Yeah. So it drains. Okay. So it doesn't get. Does it suck on your tires? No. No. No, it's just the Fast? sand. The sand is too dry because there was no rain. Okay. So it's you sink in. Okay. If it rains, yeah. the sand gets hard and yes. you can ride it. True. But right now it's right. no no rain for two days, so. But perhaps well, not here, but okay. But yeah. but you know it's not it's not wet. Okay. The, so the sand is dry. Okay. So you sink in. So right. the the really strong guys, the elites, yeah, probably can ride everything. Yeah. But the masters, only the young guys, I think, can ride it. Everybody okay. else. Well, running. Is it technical? A lot of. No. Uh, one section. The first exit from the beach, yeah. there's one little technical section. It's a little hill, up, down, up, down, yeah, running, yeah, yeah, yeah. very okay. real slippery. Okay, good. It's Thanks. fun. Good luck. It's fun. Good. Yeah, it's be definitely, careful, careful. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a power, power course. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Thank you very much. Lots of success. Thank you. So that's the announcer. So if he gets his description of the course wrong, it's my fault. So you see that big guy who just passed me? You don't discount guys that big in cross because some of those guys um, make a ton of power and have good aerobic capacity. Their power to weight isn't great because they're so huge, but there's no hills. Uh, you just basically need raw wattage. So a lot of times in the Masters races, you'll see these really big dudes, guys who are 190 pounds, five foot 10, just crushing it in cross. Uh, I'm gonna soft pedal this bit here and uh, roll over the bike wash and uh, clear off my uh, clear the sand off my bike a little bit. Oh, it's not too bad. It doesn't stick too bad. The bike's not too dirty. A couple of the ratios, I get the crunchy gears, but only in a couple of the ratios. Yeah, this will be exciting. This first bit through, through here. This is happening. Go slow, you make mistakes. <laughs> uh, trying to pass people through here. It's kind of a funny thing. You get stuck behind people because you're going slower than you would normally. Your heart rate drops. So you have this like curse you have a little bit of stored energy so when you do open a gap you can just hit the afterburner and rocket past people while the guys in the front are just going steady hard you're going in the back you know short burst ease up behind a clump of riders look for a gap afterburner get stuck behind another clump and just do these multiple afterburner bursts you know where you're cranking out 600 watts for 10, 15 seconds, 10 seconds or so to get around a clump of riders and then having to recover back down to threshold, which for me is, you know, 320, 350. Most of the steady state sections I can sustain about 350, but when I'm recovering, it'll drop down to about 300, which is still good pace, but, uh, So here I am in Belgium, racing cyclocross. It's, uh, it's a bit of a dream. Uh, I wish I had a better star position because then I could, you know, really sort of capitalize on the form. But um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So again, I'm going to run this. Save some, save some matches. I'll do a gentle warm up before the race. But I think I'm done with my hard efforts for the, for the day. My guy's riding it. See, I can run that fast.
All right. So I'm going to do a little pan here. Bike wash. First sand downhill. Signing off. Um, here, I'm going to take this thing off so you can see me. Let me set my bike here. Let's see if I can do this without... Um, how do I do this here? I'm going to take this thing off. Alright. There I am, wearing the Stars and Stripes, my lucky number 13. Very cool. Did they come off already? Oh, they're on my other jersey. So, um, that's my A-bike. The other one's the Giant TCX. Um, it's about, uh, I think it's around 11 right now. 11.30. Uh, race goes off at 3. Um, I'm not going to wear this during the race. So, whatever happens, happens. Um, see you guys later.